certainly all is seemingly pretty well at Tottenham under uh, Ange Postecoglou. We enjoyed interviewing him the other day, Simon. Uh, the back page of the Times this morning, Levy, Daniel Levy, of course, the man at the top. Kane has buyback clause. Mm -hmm. Now, this tells us uh, that Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy has revealed the club have a buyback clause for Harry Kane. Where was Levy? I'll tell you where he was. He was speaking at a fans forum last night at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, didn't specify when the clause comes into effect or how much Spurs would have to pay to get Kane back. Mm -hmm. um, but that uh, there is a buyback clause in there. Uh, what should we read into this, Simon? Because... Has Nothing. Daniel chosen to say this at a time of what is essentially pretty good P it's a pretty good PR period for Tottenham mm. under Ange just now? And um, he's chosen just to roll this one in mm, to, to, to uh, keep the fans relatively happy in a forum basis? I don't think it, no, I'm not sure that's the case. I mean, Chelsea had a buyback clause on Tammy Abraham. Clubs have buyback clauses on players that they think they might want to buy back at some particular point. At a set amount, is it? So it would it be... It would be at a set amount, sure. Absolutely. What Otherwise, do you think, it would have been a what point of... What would it be? I've, I've no idea. I've no idea. I, I, you know, I, the viewpoint of Spurs well, fans. What, do you, what I've, would I've you no surmise? I've no to idea. Be. I've no idea. I mean, what baffles me is what is the motivation for him um, suddenly he, revealing this? Because he's probably asked the question. He was asked a lot of questions last night because they had a fans forum, and it's some interesting stuff he said about the fact that he feels it more than anybody else about the losses and that not winning the league. He knows, or oh, sorry, not winning trophies. He knows full well the ramifications of not winning uh, trophies for Tottenham Hotspur and the reality of how that makes him feel, let alone the Spurs fans. He said a lot of things. He sat in a forum. Some will say that if he didn't sit in a forum, then he doesn't approach the fans. He is sitting in a forum now because uh, Postacoglu's hit the ground running. Who recruited Postacoglu? Levy. So you've got to give praise where praise is due. If it go if the wheels will come off with Postacoglu and he doesn't turn out to be what I think he could be, which is someone that wins something for Spurs, then Glenn Levy will cop it again, won't he? I mean, a lot of people will say he's landed on Postacoglu because Ange, as we know, wasn't first choice. Your man in Fanner in the home dugout last night, Arne Slot, was right mm. up there. Well, maybe. So he's landed <laughs> upon... He's landed upon Ange and Ange's delivering. In the same way that Newcastle landed upon Eddie Howe when they wanted Unai Emery. True. It happens. It's it the happened, way that the yeah. world works. Some, you know, you don't always get your first choice and sometimes it's like passing, say, say the worst drivers pass their driving test first, don't they? And ultimately, sometimes you get your best choices second and ultimately you come through a series of alchemy and opportunity, but they've got a guy now. The, the, the fact that he says this, Simon, is one thing. Harry Kane's not going to play for Tottenham again, is he? <sighs> Never, never say never, Jim. You, you never say never, do you? I Why mean, would he want to go back? He's made the big break. Tottenham, I've given you off my best. You know, well, I love the be, club. Could, they love me. Well, depends. Goodbye. Bayern Dep Munich, I, I hope I, to win I trophies. Actually, I actually think it's a good thing that he's gone to some extent. Um, I think that there's, there's radio... I mean, I've, I've written an article, comes out tomorrow in the mail, all about Postacoglu, and one of the observations I've made, without wanting to be controversial, is an outstanding contribution that Harry Kane... No denial... But it's like radiators and drains. It was becoming a drain on Tottenham. The, the idea of Terry, Harry Kane's too big for this club. He deserves to be a bigger football club. He should go somewhere where he can win. Is he going to leave? Is he going to stay? All of that has a debilitating effect on the football club and those that are around him because they look around at themselves going, actually, the only reason we're any, way, anywhere is because of him. And I think the club will blossom as a result. Let me get this right. Don't tell me that the headline is Tottenham, better without Harry. No, it's, but it's, I, I do think it's something... It's not... It's not better without Harry without nuance because if you lose 30 goals out of your side, it's a problem. But I do think the saga of Kane and whether he was staying and what he was worth to Tottenham and how valuable he was and what he did and what everyone else was, was debilitating. The other, the other thing from a football point of view, and we talked about it here pre-season, that, that I said about Tottenham is that what it will allow Ange to do is two things. One, it allow him to play the football he wants to play, which is high intensity and high yeah. press, which you can't do with Harry Kane. So, And also, it takes the immediate pressure off of having to be a top four contender because Harry's gone and nobody gave him a chance. Right. So, what well, yeah. pressure will be back on now again? Yeah. Well, to a deep bound, yeah, to a degree. Well, we'll see if they go if they go to if they go to the Emirates on the weekend and get some form of result. I mean, the euphoria that well, the Spurs, be, the Spurs fans are feeling is remarkable. I mean, it, it, it must have been the darkest of dark places for this sudden chink of light to suddenly get them so euphoric. Well, they were watching a turgid I, I know they were, but I think that yeah. also plays into the argument that Postacoglu has a wonderful opportunity because the place was so bleeding yeah. dark yeah. that actually all you've got to do is you know do a five-card trick but I've watched... and all of a sudden everyone's, <laughs> everyone's delighted. It's true, it's true, but, but, but on a footballing perspective, when you watch them play, and I've, done, I've seen all the games so far this season, all 90 minutes, they are high risk. They are playing on the front foot, and, and he couldn't have done that high tempo press and high high risk football. Well, they from... weren't in the first half against Man United, were they? They were in the second half. No, it was the... a ding dong. First half was at it end to end. 
Well, well, I, thought, I thought they were. I thought they were a bit more uh, balanced in the first half, and then went after United in the second half. No, the first half was both had chances. Both went okay. after each other. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, as Harry as Harry left, he said in a video, uh, "It's not goodbye because you never know how things pan out in the future." Exactly. But I mean, it's goodbye. Maybe, I think. I think the best of knows? Harry Kane. I think. I think if you were to go, if he was to go back, there, it would be in four or five years' time in a season where you just bring. Well, in how a long hero. is it going to be in Germany? He four might, years. He, four might years. Get, <clears throat> he might get fed. Yeah, fine. It could be as old as you. He, 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 he could be as Gareth old as Bale me. Went back. He could get fed up with Wiener Schnitzel in a year's time. I want to come well, back. That's true. He you says at the end of the know. video. I mean, you, you have know. to bear in mind. It's a thank you, and I'll see you soon. I say that to you every day, and I don't mean it. <laughs> Good. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.